below. But yeah, let's get into it. So this is our new CAC Rhonda. I actually named Rhonda after one of the commenters on our channel. And if you guys want to be the next CAC we make for one of these um, Awoken skill videos, uh, make sure you do comment because a comment from this video will be the next one. That's what I'm going to start doing from now on. So yeah, make sure you comment down below if you want to be the next CAC. Um, so Potential Unleashed is just overall, before it was probably uh, the best Awoken in the game to me. Now I believe that's Super Saiyan God, but Potential Unleashed is just so, <laughs> so good. <laughs> um, we're going to be going over what it actually does in the beginning of the video, like always, and then we're going to be ending the video just talking about what's the best Super Soul to pair with it and why. So to start, Potential Unleashed just, it's all around, it's so versatile because it's just a solid 15% 15, 15 approximate buff to everything, to your basics, to your strikes, and to your key blast supers. And that's just so good for a multitude of reasons, because you can kind of just do whatever you want with any race, and that's what's awesome about it, because, you know, Saiyans really don't need this as much because they have Super Saiyan, Super Vegeta, Future Super Saiyan, all this Super Saiyan Blue, Evolution, God, like it's ridiculous how many they have. While every other race has one Awoken, so this kind of just adds a like deeper level for all the other races to have fun with. So if you want to make a strike build with a male Earthling, potential unleash is the way to go. If you want to make a key blast build or key blast super build with female Earthling, potential unleash is the way to go. <laughs> you know, and I, I do love that about this form. So you really can go anyway with the Super Soul as well. Now in the thumbnail, you probably already saw the Super Soul. We're going to be talking about I've cast everything aside for this today because this Super Soul is just too good not to talk about. I'm honestly thinking about just making a whole video about this Super Soul because it's just that good. Um, we did talk about this as well in the Super Saiyan God video, but I just, again, I felt like it was because if we're going really general about it, I think this is just the best way to go. Um, if you guys don't know what I cast everything aside for this does... It is an approximate 35% increase to just everything. Your strike, key blast, basic attacks. Um, there are a couple of catches though with that. You lower your defense when you use it. Um, your movement speed is decreased. Your key recovery is decreased, and your stamina recovery is re decreased. So, of course, that is upsetting. But in all honesty, I haven't really noticed it that much when I'm playing online. Like, I don't notice these things. You know, guys, I was actually really surprised when I was using Ronda Unranked that I was able to get my key to, the, like, really quickly, it felt like. Well, it wasn't like, quickly, but I would say that it was, like, quicker than what I expected, at least, going into it. And this is a five-bar uh, transformation, like I said. So, the fact that I was able to transform each time with really no problems at all, you know, you can really appreciate that because... You know, Super Saiyan God, and I'm gonna br I bring that up a lot right now, but Super Saiyan God is a three bar, and it's a lot quicker to get into. So it's like I was worried for using the same Awoken skill or using the same uh, Super Soul for a different Awoken, it would probably be a little bit harder just because it takes more key to transform. So honestly, still not that hard. And uh, to be fair though, I did have a lot of key in my preset or whatever, but still, I, I feel like overall. It's just such a good Super Soul to match up with Potential Unleashed. Potential Unleashed on its own already giving that 15%. Then on top of that, you got that 35%. You're winning well above Blue Evolution levels of damage on a Earthling, you know? So on a female Earthling at that. And I just, I feel like that's such, so amazing to be able to say and to be able to do because for so long, Saiyans have dominated this game, and they, they still do, okay? <laughs> Saiyans still do dominate this game, but with this Super Soul, there's at least a chance for another race to kind of take over a little bit more, along with this Awoken. Um, now, of course, there's always there's always broken races. Um, ones hopefully we can get into uh, are the Majins. They're crazy. The Namekians are crazy. Like, everyone has their own, like, potential. And me as a player, I mostly do use Saiyans, you know? Boo me now, but I mostly use Saiyans like I think the majority of the Xenoverse 2 fan base does. So to be able to try something different, you know, it's 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 nice. And at that, not even just uh, Saiyans, but male Saiyans. So um, y'all watching these fights here, because um, there should be a fight or two playing probably without the video throughout the video. Um, I'm I have no clue how to play any other race. In all honesty, I don't know how to play other races, so 
that's why I'm going to try to do this more in uh, these different videos using different CACs. Um, let me know what you guys want as the next Awoken skill for us to go over. I'm going to make a poll like I always do. Make sure y'all checking out that community tab because I do polls consistently now. So for the next video, you, you could be the deciding factor in what I actually do content wise or what we do content wise. Um, Potential Unleashed once more is a very solid Awoken skill that any race could use. So there's almost, there's like, there's no reason not to have it and there's no reason not to use this super soul unless you don't have the dlc unfortunately um i was gonna say another potential option i also did cover this in the god video but i think it actually works better with potential unleash is time to get serious i guess this is uh android 17 super soul from dragon ball super uh his character actually does have it as well in the game basically until you're 75 percent um health so you need to be at 75 percent or below your skills are locked and but once you hit that threshold your skills come back and you're going to have that 25 percent increase to your um to everything which you know still isn't as big as topos the only reason why i say this is better for potential unleashed over super saiyan god comparing the two is that um, potential unleashed takes longer to get the amount of key you need to use it so that's why i feel like it kind of works out okay with potential unleashed a little bit more because you know the fight's going to be lasting a little bit longer until you can transform so it makes sense that okay i need to take some more damage in order to use this so it, it's i don't know it's really based on playstyle and preference again i'm going to always say that i think uh i've cast everything aside for this is just honestly the best super soul in the game like <laughs> let me know you guys favorite super soul too because i you know if you all have another option i'm always open to hearing them and this is more like a, in a general sense, like it's not going specific race, what race should use with this super soul or what race should use that one. But we're more going over a general consensus for the Awoken skill. And I think that a lot of people could agree with me that this super soul is the way to go. Um, But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you found some value in it. Um, With that, though, guys, I'm Kat. Peace.